Hello, hello, welcome back to the Craft Scraps. I am Lauren and today I'm going to be making a sweatshirt that says Homebody to replace the sweatshirt that I made years ago. I'll link the original video for you, but let's get started. So this is the text I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using this BFC Neon Soda font from Cricut. It is an access font, so I do apologize. You can go to um, font bundles and look for other fun fonts. They have a ton of really fun fonts um, that are similar, or if you want to use any other font, you totally can. But to get started, you're just going to make a text box, and you're just going to type in whatever text you want. So this is my text and I want it to be pretty small. So to start, I'm going to keep it locked, which I can see up here. So it's going to keep the proportions locked. So you see when I stretch it, the proportions stay the same. So I'm going to get it uh, as long as I want it. Then I'm going to come up here and unlock it and I'm just going to stretch it out just a little bit just to make it a little bit bigger. And so that is basically it. All you need to do for your text, if you wanna do anything else, feel free, but this is all that I'm gonna do for mine. You guys, I actually cut it out and I realized I wanted it smaller. So I just came in here and resized it, going back to make it, doing this on a mat, and don't forget to hit mirror. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to flip your image. So it's going to cut out backwards. And then when you go to press it, you're going to flip it over and it'll be right facing. So hit continue. And I'm going to be using the everyday iron on setting. And again, it reminds you to Make sure mirror is on and you're going to be doing this with the shiny side face down. So I'll show you what that means in just a second. And so I'll switch you over to the camera so we can make it. All right, so this is the scrap I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to put it on our mat and it's super important that you put the shiny side face down on the mat. This is the actual vinyl side we're going to be pressing and this is the carrier sheet. The side, shiny side is the carrier sheet. So you want to make sure that side goes face down on your mat unless your material specifically says otherwise. So my light is blinking so I'm going to load my mat. And my play light is blinking so we can cut. All right, so we're done cutting, so we can unload our mat, and I'm just gonna peel the HTV off of the mat. And I'm just going to trim this. All right, so now we're just gonna weed away the, all of the extra material, so we're just gonna be left with our design. So I'm just gonna pick up a corner and just peel away. And then I'm going to go back in and get the middles. All right, so now you can see we're left with our design. Make sure if you have any little 
if you have any little stragglers, you make sure to get rid of it because if you don't and it accidentally ends up on the side that you're pressing, you're going to end up with a little scrap on your material and we don't want that. So now this is ready to press. All right, so the sweatshirt I'm going to be pressing today is this Gildan Heavy Blend. I got this off of Amazon. It This is an extra large because I want the like oversized effect. Um, I do think they actually also have these Gildans at Michael's as well, but I was impatient and wanted mine like immediately. So I got mine off of Amazon, but you can of course use whatever you want. So I have my sweatshirt out on my table, but since it's so small, I'll zoom you in so you can see. So for placement, what I did, because this is such an oversized sweatshirt, I know it looks like it's close to the middle, but when it when I actually wear it, it's like perfectly like centered on like the left chest area, which is where I want it. So while I was wearing it, I just lightly marked it with some pencil. I don't know if you can actually like see it, but like right there, I just lightly put some pencil marks on it just so I can make sure I get it in the exact right place. All right, so like I said, if you're doing an iron, just make sure you have the steam turned off, the setting on the highest, and I would definitely put a piece of parchment paper over it just to protect your material and to make sure you don't melt anything. But I'm gonna be using the mini press right over there. So for the mini press, they tell you to like push it down and kind of move it around. If you're using one of the bigger presses, they want you just to press and hold. But for the mini press, I think they tell you to like move it around a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to apply my mini heat press. And I'm just going to press, give it some pressure, move it around. If you have a, um, heat press pad you can use that as well but if you have a heat press pad you can use that as well but I'm not going to be using that today and so you know when your design is pressed really well when the um, carrier sheet comes off pretty like seamlessly and also when you can kind of see the texture of the material behind it, you know that it's pressed on there pretty good. All right, so that is our sweatshirt. And just to keep up with the tradition of the old sweatshirt video, I will try this on so you can see exactly what it looks like. So I think this turned out so cute. I love the oversized fit of this sweatshirt and I think the more I wear it the more it'll get kind of like broken in so so perfect and I know this is so tiny but I just wanted it to be something like simple because the other one I had was so gi giant so I just thought think this is so cute and so simple and that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed this as always happy crafting <laughs>